Lesson 1, Unit 4. Assigning project work. The next step in the scope management process is to assign the work. This occurs once all the scope has been identified and approved. The work now needs to be assigned to the people responsible for it. Inputs to this step include the WBS, the project schedule, the resource requirement matrix, the list of all team members, consultants, and partners who will work on the project. The work assignment sheet is a simple tool to manage the assignment of all work in the WBS to the people responsible for them. The responsibility for each task or activity in the WBS should be assigned to only one person. The assignment sheet shows all the activities, the name of the person responsible, the due date, and the progress made in completing the activity. The work assignment sheet facilitates identification and monitoring of the responsibilities in scope management. Information about additional resources needed to complete the work are included in the work description document. One of the limitations of using the WBS and the worksheet assignment sheet is that there is not enough space to add more information. The WBS usefulness is as a visual tool that can quickly help identify all the work. But information about resources, quality standards, and other instructions to complete the work need to be documented. The work description document, also known as the WBS dictionary, is a document that defines the work in detail to help create the deliverables that will be obtained with implementation of the project. In the example, the document includes information on the number and description of the activity, the person responsible, the expected outputs or results of the activity, the estimated duration and start and end dates. This information is completed once the schedule is finished. Additional fields are the resources needed, detailed description of the work, the inputs needed, dependencies, and any risk or assumptions. Depending on the nature of the work, the document can include the quality standards the activity needs to comply with. Some organizations that work with consultants use a document that describes all the work assigned to a contractor or consultant hired to deliver a specific work for the project. The Statement of Work is a document that captures and defines all the aspects of the execution of project scope of work. It will include activities, deliverables, and timetable for the project. It's a legally binding detailed work contract that defines the terms and conditions agreed upon between parties and describes the acceptance, criteria, and payment terms. The minimum content listed here gives you an idea of what makes up a good scope of work. Purpose statement, a clear description of why the organization is doing the project, including a description of the problem the project aims to solve. The project objectives, the specific, measurable, achievable, and time-bound goals of the project. Scope statement, a description of the scope of the project with enough detail in such a way that it will be absolutely clear if extra work is added later on. Key deliverables, a list of the outputs the project will produce, including intermediate deliverables and deliverables related to project management. Budget and schedule estimate, in addition to a budget and a deadline, a description of how flexible is the budget and the rationale behind the deadline.